little by little I'm making some progress on my sailboat Carl tackling some of the jobs that need to be done before I head north but at the same time I'm also on an important mission for the nonprofit in motion because I'm trying to find a partner here around Puerto Madero to set up a small community business to recycle plastic waste. As cruisers we often sail around the most stunning and remote places on this planet. Yet we've all seen those heartbreaking scenes where these beautiful beaches and pristine waters are marred by plastic waste. To me it's a strong reminder that we're all connected by the same oceans and that we also share the responsibility of taking care of their health. We have a unique opportunity to contribute positively to the communities that we visit. For example, by participating in cleanup activities or recycling initiatives. For me, it's a way to engage more deeply with the places that I visit and potentially contribute to solutions that help to improve the environment and the living conditions for the people. I think as sailors, it's somehow a shared passion wanting to preserve our natural playgrounds. And I hope that with In Motion, we can inspire others in the cruising community to join us. In many coastal areas, like here in Playa Linda and Puerto Madero, there is little to no trash removal infrastructure, let alone recycling. And this results in significant plastic pollution along the shorelines, the rivers and the streets. Over the past weeks I've conducted several recycling workshops here in the area and I've also reached out to potential partners to create a community recycling workspace. And despite the enthusiasm for recycling and its potential, finding a long-term commitment proved to be somewhat challenging. But persistence is the key, and as you might remember from some of my previous boat projects, I'm not one to give up easily. So meanwhile, we set up a pop-up recycling workspace next to Maria's sailboat Joanna, where we're experimenting with extruding plastic beams to create furniture. Some of you have commented in the past that you'd like to see some more functional recycled products than earrings or key hangers. And we've heard you. Fortunately, Maria is here to help with the metal work to create a mold for extruding plastic beams. The process is fairly simple. You just need a box iron or a tube of the desired beam size. And then you cut some angle irons and weld them to the side. Maria uses her nifty magnet trick to keep everything straight and in place. Next, we drill four holes so the beam mold can be mounted to the extruder. We work with polyethylene and polypropylene plastic number two and five. And here in the marina, many people consume electrolyte drinks that come in bottles made from polypropylene, number five. These bottles, along with yogurt cups, are abundant. So we decided to do our first trial run with these. Each bottle and cap weighs 36 grams. So I calculated that for a beam measuring two by two by 200 centimeters, we'll need about 20 bottles, considering the density of polypropylene is 0.9 grams per cubic centimeter. Did I get that right? And there it is, our first beam made from recycled plastic. We're working on a prototype for a small foldable chair and have made a rough first mock-up. It's clear that we need larger beams and better overall stability. Let us know in the comments what you think of the idea and how we can improve our design. And we even had a pretty famous visitor stopping by our impromptu recycling workspace. And I think we've given James from Zingaro a pretty good first-hand impression of the little challenges and hiccups that come with plastic recycling at times. Sounds like it's gonna tear some stuff up. Do you want to throw it in? Yes. Yay! And then you have to push it down. Oh, you have to push it. Yeah, and that's also a safety feature that's probably not. I can't pull this out either. Yeah, you can pull it out. You can, but it's gonna stop. Another safety feature. I'm sorry.
I'm currently in this beautiful place called Finkamburgo, up in the mountains on a coffee farm. Finkamburgo, nestled in the mountains of Chiapas, is a historic coffee plantation that also hosts an ecotourism resort. This location, with its blend of natural beauty, cultural heritage and sustainable practices, including a hydroelectric power plant, is a perfect location for our environmental workshops. When we first got here to the area of Puerto Madero and Tapachula, we were sort of scoping out the place and talking to some people, seeing who's already active in the area of separating trash or maybe wanting to get started on recycling. And um, this wonderful woman, Marisa, uh, she is part of Costas Limpias de Chiapas. She was willing to meet with me, she's got a really big network, and she recommended a German woman to me, Lisa, who lives up here in Fincamburgo, because she knew that they were already doing this trash separation and looking for ways to recycle on the spot. So I called up Lisa and I told her about in motion and asked if they were interested in us giving some workshops up here. And bam! One week later, I'm up here in the beautiful mountains and um, yeah, connecting with the people here and talking about ways how we can start some perception activities. We organized two workshops at Finca Hamburgo. The first was open to everyone, introducing the concept of plastic recycling and transforming waste into jewelry. The second one was aimed at young women interested in learning more about recycling and particular exploring business opportunities. In these workshops, we designed jewelry and demonstrated how to use a plastic shredder and extruder to create new products from plastic waste. The women who joined us after the regular work hours stayed late into the evening, captivated by the potential of plastic recycling. They were driven by creativity and the prospect of earning an income from selling the recycled products. What touched me most was their enthusiasm and eagerness to learn new things, using their creativity to find new approaches. When we asked if they consider starting their own recycling business at Finca Hamburgo, well, I'll let them share their thoughts directly with you. ¿Qué tal les ha gustado el taller? Muy interesante. De la forma en que se hacen los aretes eh, y, y de que son reciclables, porque pues los aretes que, que se venden comúnmente pues son este se tienen que elaborar de diferentes formas, no es reciclable como las que estamos haciendo, las que estamos aprendiendo y pues es muy bonito, interesante. Ah, sí, quieren seguir con el trabajo. Sí, queremos seguir con el negocio. <risa> Pues el taller ha funcionado, me imagino, y, y pues seguir haciendo estos, estos aretes que creo que no es lo único que se puede hacer, hacer otras, otras piezas de material de Las tapas, que se hace esto. Entonces yo ya me veo recogiendo todas las tapas de la finca <risa> para poder hacer esto. Bueno, entonces están emocionados por, para, para formar su negocio. Sí. sí. Y sobre todo porque vamos a ganar mucho. <risa> bueno, chicas, muchísimas gracias por hacer estos talleres con nosotros y yo les deseo mucha suerte para su negocio. Gracias. Y esperemos, yo espero que estemos en contacto para colaborar en el futuro. Gracias sí. a usted por que nos Now you might understand a little better why my Boat refit projects or sailing adventures are taking a backseat from time to time. For more than 10 years, the ocean has been my home and I feel a profound responsibility to give something back with this volunteer work that I'm doing. If you've ever cruised in areas 
where there wasn't any proper trash infrastructure or have wondered what to do with your personal waste that you're creating on your sailboat and where to put it and who to give it to and what happens with it afterwards, then you know that this is an issue that we all face and that we all share. And together we can also be part of the solution. It's a collective effort that makes our cruising lifestyle even more meaningful. And more about that next time.